Hello, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to get out of safe modes and how to fix the safe mode loop. It's actually pretty easy to do, but if you don't know how to get in safe modes, it's actually pretty easy to do. You just need to hold the power button of the PlayStation till you hear two beeps. And so let's begin with the video. <coughs> so guys, like you see on the screen, you want to connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PS button. You wanna exactly do that. Then you will get this screen right here. What you first can try is by restarting the PlayStation on safe mode. But guys, if that doesn't work out, what you also can do is go to number five, Rebuild database. This will not delete all of your data. Let me clear that. It will only clear the data that are corrupted, like the saves that can't be used anymore that prevents you for going on your PlayStation. So what you want to do is go to rebuild data. Then you want to uh, database will be rebuilt. It might take a few hours to rebuild to your database. You want to press okay on that. Now guys, I'm gonna show you another way. If this doesn't work out, you can go to step three but I will warn you guys, if you use this step, you will lose all of your data. And with data, I mean like uh, offline data or single player data that you didn't save on backup. So guys, once you go on here, you will get this screen right here. If you initialize the P PlayStation 4, all users and all data will be deleted from the PlayStation 4. Are you sure you want to continue? You want to do yes if there is no other option to get back on your PlayStation. But guys, these are the only three steps you can do. You can try actually this one, but mm, there's only 1% you can go back. But I will tell you guys, if you do this one, you will get 90-90%, like 99% chance to go back on your PlayStation and play games back again. Like I said guys, you want to first try these two, restart PlayStation 4 and rebuild database. And if that doesn't work out, the last option is initialize your PlayStation 4. So guys, I have actually another way too. So guys, the last step, what you also can do is join these two communities right here. Error fix and query and these two communities will, will help you around with these type of problems regular PlayStation problems or error codes things like that but if you are, aren't able to go on your PlayStation and join this community what you also can do is go to the community app on your phone tablet or iPad and join it from there you can ask people or moderators that maybe they can help you around Thanks for watching guys, you can just help me out by liking and subscribing and comment down below did it work for you or didn't it or like something else you want to say. Thanks for watching guys, goodbye, take care of yourself.